Hot off the back of your first PDC televised semi-final, you must be pleased to get that monkey off your back and be brimming with confidence ahead of the World Championship. Yeah, you know, it was it was nice at Marnad, you know, to get to the semi-final. Um, it stopped all these, you know, people asking this question, you know, when am I ever going to get past the quarter-finals? Um, but yeah, you know, I've had hard luck in them quarter-finals, we lost a lot of 10-9s, so it was nice just to get over that line and, I said, I'm confident now. You know, my confidence has been going well all year, you know, with the European Tour wins and stuff, so, you know, coming up to the Worlds, you know, I'm, I'm in a good position. Good, and you mentioned the Worlds, Alexandra Palace, very iconic venue in the world of darts. From the players' perspective, what makes the place so special? It's the atmosphere. The atmosphere is brilliant, you know, everyone's there for the party, you know, they all for all that on the Christmas dues and stuff, but, um, you know, that World Championship is what we play for all year. You know, as soon as that's finished, you know, your season's finished, you know, and you, you're waiting for February to start again so you can get going. Um, but yeah, um, the World Championships is, is massive for every dark player, and to win that title will be a dream. And your best performance at the Worlds is quarter finals, I think, back in 2014. So you'll be looking to go at least to that stage this year. Oh, yeah, um, you know, that's what. what my plans are, you know, I want to get to that finals. I'm in the same quarter as Michael Van Gerwen again, you know, so, um, you know, it'd be nice to get to that stage uh, and then hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll beat him in the Worlds and show everyone what I can do. Indeed. And you'll be coming up against either Darius Labanaskis or Matthew Edgar in the second round. Uh, what's your thoughts ahead of the game? Two good players, you know, I respect the two players. Um, you know, so I played Labanowski and Matt Edgar a few times. Um, I don't know what the head to heads are, but um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. There's no there's no one easy in this world championships. You know, and it's it's getting harder and harder every year, so you're having to put the time and effort in in your practice. So, you know, that's what I'm doing and uh, everything's you know going well for me. And when I looked early this week, some of the bookmakers have got you listed at odds of as wide as sixty six to one to win the world championship. Many would say that's excellent value considering your current form. That's, that's not bad, is it? I'm usually 250. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's, the bookmakers put what they want, and you know, like I said, I've been playing well this year, so you know, there'll be a few people out there probably putting an each way bet on me, so, but that's up to them. And you picked up some titles this year on the European Tour, as, as you mentioned, and you've shown consistent form along the way. What has been your personal highlight? This year probably is the European Tours, you know, that month I had, I had two runner-ups and then two wins straight after, you know, so it was consistent that, that month. Um, I'm beating Van Gerwen in his own country, you know, on his own stage and everything, and um, was good as well, so, but I looked at the uh, Minehead one this year, this year, the programme, and I seen that I hadn't won a Pro Tour, and I thought, well, that's usually strange, I mean, you know, I'm usually winning at least a couple, yeah. Been, yeah. We've had, I think, it was three finals, but yeah. you know, at the end of the day, you, you want to go out as winners because that's all people ever see as winners, you know. So hopefully now I've got a lot of people looking at me now, get to that semi-final, and uh, getting on my side. Indeed, and, and just a question on practice. You practice quite a lot with your stablemate Michael Smith. What sort of games and challenges do you both set yourselves in a normal practice session? It's a secret, isn't it? I'm not allowed to tell you. Um, no, we, do, we have a bit of a natter, we're, we're like two women I think at the end of the day, we have a bit of natter and a chat and a throw of darts and you know we do a lot of finishing and stuff uh, and tons but we don't do many um, 501s because I don't think it's it's worth it because um, you can hit your 180s no problem um, but yeah it's more, more finishing than anything. Indeed and I know you get asked about this a lot with Diamond Dab, how did you actually come about and who persuaded you to add it to your walk on? <laughs> we went to a party, it was a 50th party, and uh, my stepdaughter, Tanya, she turned around and said, uh, why don't you do the dab? And I said, what's a dab? She said, it's this dance craze. So uh, we were messing around that night, and she said, I, I dare you do it in the World Grand Prix in Ireland. I said, yeah, I will do. So that's what I did, and when I come back, she said, can't believe you've done that. I said, how daft was that? And it's just gone mad, it's you know. Stuck it's stuck ever since. Yeah, it's stuck. So it's good because Terry Jenkins had the little, you know, the ball and everything. And then, uh, you know, your Michael Smith's got the heart and everything. But I think every player should have something. Um, I've got the dab. Yeah, and that's what we do.
Okay, finally, it's school report time, 2019, excellent year on the hockey. So if you were giving yourself, so far, marks out of 10, what would that be? I would say nine, because um, I've looked over the, you know, this last year, and uh, I've, w I've worked it out that I said, in August, I have got to have my best second half of the season that I've ever had, because my second half of the season usually dies on me. Um, I've lost a few rounds in the first rounds of TV tournaments, which I haven't this time. And my aim was to get to August on a good run, which I had done with the European tours, and then hit it hard on the TV ones. And I've done ever so good this year. So I'd, I'd say nine out of ten, and one more to go. Okay. Good luck, Ali Pali. Thanks, here. Thank you very much.